All right, welcome back, you guys. Today we're going to start on the fish tank windows. Uh, as you can see, I have them marked out here to the sizes and measurements. These are ten and a half, and then uh, I left I left one inch of space on the top here and on the bottom and then on the outside so that the plexiglass will actually be an inch wider than the hole. That way, uh, plenty of room to attach it. So I'm going to start over here on this one. Since the water is still draining out of that one, I don't want to make a big mess. So I've already got this one ready to go so I can start drilling and cutting. So what I'm going to do is first drill out the corners so that I don't create a weak spot when I use the jigsaw to go around. So I'm going to do that real quick and we'll come right back. there we go we've got our window cut just remember to take your time when you do this we want it to look nice I don't say that often <laughs> so we want it to look good and we want the lines to be nice and straight so we can go back over this with some sandpaper and a sanding wheel and sand that down but you guys have a rough idea of what the hole is gonna look like now that's an okay height for it. Sorry about this. There we go. So. And you can see I cut just inside the sharpie line. I'm going to go back through and sand this down and make it nice and neat. And then I'm going to cut I'm going to start cutting on that one there. I'm still waiting for the water to drain out. So we'll get some sanding done. We'll clean up this mess down here and then I'll get that one going and then we'll come back. All right, now we got both the holes cut. Uh, we've got them cleaned up. I went ahead and I took some really heavy grit sandpaper and I went along the inside right here so that the uh, silicone would have something to grab onto. So I made it nice and rough on the inside all the way around. I did that on both tanks. And I think my biggest tip for you guys is if you're gonna do this, do it before you install. Do it before you put the fish in there. It was not easy uh, trying to keep the plastic out. And this one has fish, this one does not, so I wasn't too worried about this. But what I wound up doing is add a piece of reflective insulation, I cut it into a circle, and then I folded it up into thirds, and I placed it through the opening in the top here, and then it floated on top of the water, and it captured most of the debris. So that helps. So if you're going to do this and you've already installed the tanks, I would recommend covering the water up, and then uh, I just went through with a net, cleaned up the rest of it. So now, while I'm waiting for, uh, waiting for the plexiglass sheets to show up, I'm probably going to have to run to the hardware store and get some more stainless steel bolts because I only bought enough to do one. So I'll go do that and then I'll come back. Alright, here we are. We're back. Uh, mailman showed up off camera and delivered uh, the plexiglass. So I'm using 8th inch plexiglass. I tried it with 16 in, uh, 16th inch and I was having an issue cutting it. And then I tried quarter inch and it was too thick so I went in between and it's just, I think this is going to be perfect. So it's not going to go on the outside. I'm just doing this to uh, get one of the holes started. So I'm going to start in the center, make sure that, all, that I have enough room on both sides. And then this will be on the inside when I'm done. So I'm going to drill a hole real quick right here in the top. Alright, and I just broke it. Uh, oops. Alright, well that just happened. So we have 
Okay, so it's not going to ruin anything. I have plenty to mess around with here, so I think I'm going to try that a little bit slower this time. So, bring it down a skosh. And I'll just do it nice and easy. Got that off of there, and then we'll just put it down here. Now oh, you guys probably can't see this, but I've got the plexiglass on another sheet of plexiglass. I'm gonna drill down here real quick, carefully. drilled now and uh, now I'm going to put a bolt through hopefully this doesn't break it as well uh, let me ream out the hole a little bit tighten this bolt into here because it's a uh, it's kind of a tight fit I'm worried that's gonna crack so let me try something off camera and then I'll come back right back all right all right now, now here we are here we are we are back and we've got one of them installed and we've got it sealed up and all the bolts installed all the way around and then on the inside I put clear silicone around each one of the bolts the way I did that was I took a little sanding wheel I don't know if you can see that or not and I attached it to this caulking gun and it has a perfect size hole in it for a bolt and a nut so you just push this over the nut and the bolt a little trick I learned back in uh, back at BF Goodrich Aerospace um, so uh, yeah here's the other one I'm working on right here so the way I have this attached uh, first thing I did was I put this on the outside and then I drilled a hole in the top and the bottom and then I took that sheet and I put it on the inside and put the nut and the bolt through and then I went around with the drill and I marked each hole using the drill bit. Looks like I missed one here. Alright. And then what I'll do is I'll take this off and then I'll set it down and I'll drill the rest of the holes and then I'll put the thing back on and then we'll go from there. Alright, now we're back. We're going to place some silicone on here. Um, I don't know why it's white. It says clear right here. Maybe it dries clear, but we'll see. It won't really matter. So we'll just go around each one of the holes. We'll do a, a, a bead all the way around the outside first. And then we'll go around each one of the holes. That oh, looks like I've missed one. Uh, that's all right. We can get it while it's installed. And when I say I missed one, that means I uh, missed one of the holes. So there's a hole, or there isn't a hole because I didn't drill it. That's all right. So we got that on. Nice and generous. More is better than not enough. Then I'm going to pull out this clear caulking. And I'm going to put in the other caulking. And get that ready. So while we have that there, we're going to focus the camera back here. And place it far enough away that I can get in there and work. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, I found this trick on the first one, is with the first two bolts, you're going to put them in backwards, just because it's easier to install them that way. 
And then make sure to mark your piece of plexiglass which so you know what side is the front and the top. So I marked it top, front, so that I put it on correctly because if I put it on backwards, the holes are not symmetrical and it won't fit. So we'll get one bolt through. We'll do the top center one and then we'll do the bottom center one. line that up best you can if you do it the other way you won't be able to get a nut or a washer on because you're going to be pressing on it with your other hand um, I did that earlier that's how I know Just finger tight, and then we'll go around with the rest of the bolts, and we're going to put them in from the outside in. And we'll just do a couple at a time. No rush. It takes a while for this caulking to set up anyways. So what I'll do is I'll take a nut and a washer and I'll hold them both in my fingers like this and then put them in and then twist the bolt from the outside while holding the washer and the nut on the inside. There we go. And then we'll just do that all the way around and then we'll come back with the results. Alright, here we are. We got everything installed. I've got these two bolts flipped around the correct way, so they're all hand tight right now. So we're just going to go around with the socket wrench. And we're not going to tighten them really tight, just snug. see some of the caulking squeezing out as I tighten these down. And I'm just holding the nut on the inside with my hand because if it's too tight, if I use a wrench on the inside I could break the plexiglass when I'm tightening it and I don't want to do that. There we go, nice and tight, or nice and snug. And then I'll just take my finger, go around it like that, get all the excess off. Wipe it off on a towel nearby. And then, I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife Peel the protective coating off carefully. There we go. A little piece down here. We'll just go around real quick with the exacto knife. There we go. Got that cleaned up. And I'll probably go around with the, another bead of caulking just to make sure we're nice and sealed. I'm going to peek on the inside. Looks good on the inside. So now we're going to take the other caulking, the clear stuff, 
and uh, I'm going to go around each bolt on the inside one at a time and then when I come back we should be done holy smokes all right and we are back Let's pull the camera off the mount here and we're done with both of them that was a pain in the butt to say the least uh, it looks pretty neat though I'm gonna let these sit overnight before I fill them back up with water but I think we'll call that a video <laughs> now that I'm all sweaty and covered with stuff and I made a big mess out here so I've got to clean up all this stuff um, let's see I'll uh, show you what it looks like on the inside sure how well you can see in there it's kind of dark but um, I still got to clean these windows off but for the most part we are all done so thank you guys for tuning in hope you enjoyed watching me mess up and do something that I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> so maybe you guys will learn something from that I'm sure there's a million other easier ways to do it than what I just did so um, I think uh, as long as you know you're happy with your results, then I would go with that. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, post those down at the bottom. Hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell button next to subscribe, and you'll get a notification each time I upload a new video. And uh, as always, keep building.